Do you like Nickelodeon? Do you like whiskey or whiskey cocktails? Then you should hang out with us. I'm Ty. I'm Sean. And we run Whiskey Lodian the podcast. Ty, what is this podcast about? It's where we drink whiskey or whiskey cocktails while rewatching the old school Nickelodeon shows we loved growing up. And let's be honest, we go on a lot of tangents. So many tangents. Are we on a tangent right now? Yeah, I think so. Oh my gosh. Well, we got to get back. We are covering Rugrats, Hey Arnold, Are You Afraid of the Dark, all the golden greats of Nickelodeon. And these shows give us so much joy. And we want to bring you that same joy. So find us wherever you get your podcast at Whiskey Lodi. And I got to cut you off right now because we honestly cannot afford any more ad space. And it really just kind of has to end right. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another glorious episode of Jedi Talk. And for the next, I don't know, nine weeks, because there's 9,000 episodes of Andor, the second episode is now going to be the first episode because we're doing the Andor recap shows. Uh, we're recording this on Wednesday. We are not the full council today, Evan is off working, I think. But fortunately, me and the Red Rocket here are going to give our thoughts on Andor episodes season one, two, three. And before we get into it, let me introduce him. He is a member of the council. He is a wise man. And he is also one of the hosts of Fourth Mother Box. Tom Oakry, what's going on, sir? By the right of the council, by the will of the force. Hello there. I'll say it now. Yeah, he's not here. Hello there. Hello <laughs> there. Um, Let's just finally have somebody officially say Hello there. There we go. Thank there you, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, Andor happened. And it did. And we watched it. I got up a little earlier this morning. Maybe I was just a scotch bit excited, but I fired it up. And there are some thoughts. Yeah, I got, some, some, I got thoughts. some. I got some. I don't want to say strong opinions on it because I don't know what's happening yet. Um, but I have thoughts. And I think we just need to go ahead and dive into it. So first off, what we'll do is give you the name of what the show is. And it is... I'm beginning to think the Force and I have different priorities. Different priorities, the Cassian Andor recap show. That's what we're going to call it going forward. Different priorities, the Andor recap show. Yes, sir. Um, so what we'll do is we'll do it like we always do. We'll give our spoiler-free thoughts. Um, I'm also going to start doing weekly videos like I was doing with, with Obi-Wan. Um, I didn't do it this week, A, because it's just been a wild week for me, and it was really early and I had stuff to do this morning. But B is because it was three episodes, and I didn't want it to feel congested. And I feel like doing one a week is the better option. So there will be my full thoughts here, spoiler-free, and then spoiler, which there's not really much to spoil. (laughs) Um, There's really not. There's nothing. There's really not. But uh, we'll kind of give our thoughts on the episodes first. So do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Yeah, yeah, I'll give my thoughts. And um, I Spoiler-free. Spoiler-free thoughts. I think out of everybody that I've spoken to amongst, like Brad mentioned, Fourth Mother Box with Kyle Cosentino and then just amongst Brad and I before we started recording, I think I like it the most thus far, but that's not to say that this is the greatest thing Star Wars has ever done. It's far from it. Boring is okay to say with this. Slow is accurate with what we've had, especially through the first two episodes. Uh, Episode three, to me, I feel like, got me heavily not heavily but more interested in in the series now just you for watch, how they were building some things up did you watch the thing that they released at like d23 the extended clip no it was this the end scene okay and I that's why when i got to that i was like that's the finale why'd you show me this uh yeah why they show the finale <laughs> they showed the stupid. finale of, of, of episode stupid. three i think that's weird yeah and so like once it hit i was like i mean there's other cuts and stuff they kind of cut around some of the other stuff going yeah. on but uh yeah that was it was why i'm like, glad i didn't watch that then Cause it, it bummed me out because you were yeah. like, oh, the ending of season episode, episode three was really good. And I was like, cool, cool, cool. And we got to it and I was like, damn it. Uh, That's the 10-minute clip they showed. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Well, I'm glad. I, I just didn't, yeah. I didn't avoid that on purpose. I was just like, eh. I watched it because I was like, I want to see if they can hook me because I'm somebody that you're going to have to, yeah. I'm not going to watch it, but you got to convince me this is a good idea. Mm-hmm. And I liked what I saw and I liked it in context even more, but I don't know. Uh, my spoiler-free thoughts are this is the live action version of Bad Batch for me. Meaning it is not something that I'm gonna probably like usually with Obi Wan we, we would watch them two or three times each before we would do a, a recap show. I think at least I did. Um I don't know if I'm gonna go back to this. I mean we'll have to see how it all plays out, but I just there's nothing that they set up that could be connective, at least not obviously, that makes me go back and go like, ooh, I can't wait to see that again. Like, the, his backstory and stuff, which is, well, we're trying to say as spoiler-free as possible, but the flashbacks and stuff are interesting, but, like, it's yeah, just, there's it's a, just backstory. It, and there's nothing is, where I go, like, It's Ooh. given him backstory. I mean, I don't... I don't not everybody again, needs I a backstory. For, like, I, I would, I would yeah. much rather just see him now as he is now. I don't care where he came from. 
it doesn't make a difference to me. At least you just want to go to his grave. He's not a scarf. Jedi. <laughs> no, I just I just don't need like him as a kid. Yeah. Oh. Like, oh. I, it's, okay. Okay. It's, okay. I don't care. Like, and also, I don't really think it makes sense because didn't he say that he he had been in this fight since he was six years old? He's not six in this. He says in Rogue One, I've been in this fight since I was six years old. Did he say six? I'm Is pretty sure it was six. Well, ten years old. Well, should we? Uh, let, me find the, let me find the exact quote. Spoil. It might be ten years old. I don't know. Um, spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! I think we're going to start getting into spoilers here. Yeah, let's go ahead. But he, don't forget the planet um, he's from. Uh, is it uh, K- some of the K? Ke- Kessif? Kessel? Kesser? Kessif? Kefi? Ferrix is a planet. Um, the one he's on now in like the this time that we're watching. He's from Carrot. Some of the damn it. Some of the I K. was six years old. Yeah. Oh, it was six. Okay. So he's not. He's not six in the show. Hold, but but the the point I'm trying to no no he's not. <laughs> when they show those flashbacks, his little sister looks to be closer to that age. But um, d- don't forget the the Imperial Army were mining his home planet. Yeah. So he could be saying since he was six is when they started mining the planet because because they've always been in fight. They're like Canari. That's the name of the planet. I looked it up. Canari. Thank Canari. you. Thank you. Canari. Um, but it is with a K. I yeah, remember that. It uh, is. So, so on Canari, they're clearly, you know, when we first see a flashback of little Andor and his sister, they watch an Imperial mining ship crash. Now, what I found interesting about that was those pilots with the yellow faces, like, what the hell did that? I, I don't know. Uh, that well, looked I mean, really we'll cheap see. to me, too. It cheap. looked, it looked oh. like they had jaundice. <laughs> but, well, yeah, it, it sure looked like they had jaundice. So. But I... I and, and, that wasn't a compelling alien design. It's like, oh, it's a human just paint his face yellow. I mean, this is nitpicky stuff, but I'm no, no, not, no, it stood no. out to me. It's like they an awkward. weren't. I don't think they were aliens. Like something happened to them that made their faces yellow. Oh, see, I just took it as like no, because they were they had yellow hands too. So I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like like I feel like they were gassed or something hmm. because they're all dead. Okay, they were I, all didn't, dead. I didn't read it like that. I read it like it was a crash and the aliens. Those oh no, yeah. those were humans. Those okay. were humans that just got gassed or something. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I read um, that wrong. Uh, that's okay. Uh, maybe I read it wrong. Shit. Maybe it is shitty. It makeup. makes more sense than yeah. what you said, because <laughs> that's how they crash. So yeah. that's why I'm kind of like, oh, I'm intrigued. What happened to them? Like, like what made them crash like that all of a sudden? You know, this is like the rule of the the empire right now. Yeah. And god damn, like I kind of I kind of love. Uh, you said it in, in our text. Like the bad guys are pretty cool. Yeah. Um, what is the, the name of the, these guys? I more son, it. it's it's M. They, they they just kept calling it and and boy oh boy, I'm it's like it's like they they take what's happening in the real world and they do a fine line of just like painting things for yep. you mm-hmm. in media and media is always going to imitate yeah or art's going to imitate life well that's know? why like in the 50s all the monster movies were like radiation because yes. they're like shit we're going to get nuked and you know yeah that, that that's so it's a direct just, reference to yeah, that and they're putting they're putting it right in front of your face and how yeah, like told take the mask are. off <laughs> yeah right exactly that was yeah. hilarious um so anyway before i get a little too libertarian i like tom he doesn't do a lot of work around here he shows zero initiative. Tom is exactly what I'm looking for in a government employee. Thank you, Ron Swanson. <laughs> God, I love Ron Swanson. He's the fucking greatest. <laughs> One of the best characters to ever be created on TV. But anyway, I agree. I yeah. agree. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, but anyway, um, so, like, like what happened there? And they hired this private security. Like, that, that's so Empire to do that. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, you guys handle the, the bits and pieces that we don't care to deal with. So Excuse they're... Me. They're the bad people. Put a mask on. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, no. <laughs> it's my ride. I live in Florida. <laughs> I'm gonna send the migrants over to Martha's Vineyard. That was my favorite thing. I <laughs> laughed hysterically watching that video yesterday that I sent you. That yeah. was hilarious. <laughs> I didn't agree with it or not. It's this funny. is politics. Oh, really? I know. I know. Like, I, I don't know. I'm kind of torn on it, but like, because it just is kind of a, it is kind of an asshole thing to do. No, but it's no, funny. Here's, here's the thing, <laughs> and I'll I'll make it clear as day. You're talking about Ron Swanson thoughts, but it's it's. Like I hate the idea of playing politics with people, like p- human beings, like this. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that. I'm with you. I don't like that it may have used tax dollars to pay for it, because tax dollars in general shouldn't be used for anything other than maybe defend us. But that's about it. Yeah. And then outside of that, the but on the flip side, it was like, all right, hypocrites, here you go. You want to open your doors, tender loving care. Here are the people who need help. And they deported them. You want them here in the country, <laughs> open your door. I know, I know. So so anyway, back to back to Andor. But the reason why we got to talking about that is because Andor is like like no matter where you look in it, you could do this almost with anything modern. And like Brad was saying, like back in the fifties, like you could tie it to what we have in real life. You know, that art imitates life. Art imitates reality. 
And that's what's happening right here. And, and you're seeing those types of things. And, 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 and you know, I think a lot of people, if they look at this story, like like we talked about casuals, right? If if somebody who knows Star Wars, they know who Luke Skywalker is. They know who Darth Vader is. They know the new characters of Kylo Ren. And they've been to Galaxy's Edge because they go to Disneyland every now and again. <clears throat> so they know what they look like. If a casual comes into watching Andor, if they pay attention to the story, they can relate to the struggle if there's somebody who struggles similarly like that as well. Mm-hmm. Let's say they are, you know, you know, part of a, you know, let's say, I don't want to get into too much, but let's say they are Native American. They could probably, you know, um, like just like find some common ground with the story that's being told about their ancestors. Yeah. You know, it's just like taking over land and stuff. And like, and, and that's where I think casuals could come in on this show and look at it and connect to a story because there's a story there, but it feels like there isn't at the same time. I said that this felt to me like at the beginning, especially the beginning, it felt like Blade Runner meets Apocalypto. Yeah, hopefully without the threat of Jared Leto, though. <laughs> <laughs> there's never a zero chance of a threat of Jared Leto. No, that's not good. Um, no, I, one thing I, I want to address is the opening scene um, because it was just so odd and didn't fit in for me. Like if if I don't hear backlash about this in Star Wars, but oh. we get backlash from the Star <laughs> Cruiser, we have a real problem. Yeah, because brothels in Star Wars is a very odd and hard to. I can't believe that got passed. I mean, it's interesting, and then I'm sure you know. I mean, it's not bad. It, I don't look at it as a bad thing. I just want the consistency of the haters to be like, it's not Star Wars. This is the most non-Star Wars thing I've ever seen in Star Wars, except like the techno music guild and on Book of Boba. Yeah, I, I still think the poke, uh, the uh, Power Rangers are the are the worst thing. In Star I, I, Wars. I think this all looked Star Warsy, but the idea of a brothel in Star Wars is a fucking wild concept. Why? Be, I mean, be, because I mean, it's just it's it's not something that you would think you'd see in Star Wars. Like I know there's like underground stuff, but there's never been like any any allusion to that anywhere. True, but it, at least with the techno people, there's Grievous, so you know that thing, that kind of technology exists. Like, yeah, yeah, I get that. It's just, I think it's just this is just like part of society that gets right. Oh, it's, it's part of the yeah. because just because all the bad guys are on the Empire doesn't mean there's not bad guys still existing. Yeah, there's people who want to traffic humans just for their own gain because maybe they throw the Empire a couple of credits their way from what they make, and the Empire leaves them alone to do business as they see fit. You know, yeah. it's a seedy underbelly that always is going to exist, exist. if but like you have you, a society. It's almost like the meth lad thing in Obi Wan, where you're like, "This is Breaking Bad." This just oh, felt yeah. like it's taken or something. <laughs> One thing too that I had an and and by the way, I like the show. I'm not shitting on. I'm not sitting here to to talk shit about the show. It's fine, and I'm very curious what we see going forward. Mm-hmm. But they made a big deal of like Cassian is not going to be the same Cassian you saw in Rogue One, and blah blah. blah. He feels exactly the same. Now, I don't think yet, yet because he killed that those two guys. I know, I know, and that was the very much. And it wasn't but, a hard decision for him. It's not like he had to do it in self defense. He knocked the dude out and then chose to kill the guy. That's very yeah, what, what you see in the beginning of Rogue One. True, but I think I think I think that is parallel to the beginning of Rogue One because it's like when we meet Andor for the first time, it's like oh, he just killed that guy. Like shit, this guy is ballsy. But then we don't know how he becomes that way. He like he made that that conscious decision at that moment. That was the first time he had ever killed somebody in my estimation from what they had shown so uh, in, in that moment we'll have to see because all the flashbacks kind of allude to him being almost like a kid warrior or something true true we'll see maybe I, at least in i i, I don't know this is kind of like co- coincidental killing because those guys were assholes i'm not saying yeah, for sure but they like deserved it it would but, still fuck with you like if someone if someone broke into your house and you had to kill them yeah it would still i mean you'd be happy you're safe but it would still fuck with you if you if you're unless you're a psycho yeah. the, don't forget Cassian though when he when he knocked him out and the guy the other the the short fat guy was trying to wake him up he's like he's not breathing and Andrew was like no like kind of yeah. like you're lying like like he's fine tell him to get up he's yeah. faking it yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know man it just felt like that was like if if he'd have like lingered on that and like you know the cliche thing of like his ears ringing to show mm-hmm. panic or something but they didn't he just like stood there and then killed the guy and you're like okay I, I think of Andor that's as, the same yeah. Andor from I think Rogue of One. I think of Cassian as more assassin slash rebel spy in Rogue One like think of the conversation he has with Jin the first time he talks talks to her when he gets introduced to her when she's talking to Mon Mothma across the war table mm-hmm. he's like questioning her like he's experienced he see, he knows what he's talking about I don't necessarily see that yet 
out of him. You know, he's just kind of this rugged guy, you know, lawbreaker yeah. who's on the run. No, I agree with you on that. I just mean like the ruthlessness. Oh, sure. Like okay. that doesn't. Oh, yeah. That's that, part that of his character. Across, yeah. I know. But like if they're saying it's a different version of him, it's like it's not. It's the same guy. He just has the experience mm-hmm. now of the military behind him in Rogue One. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It just it. Threw, I was expecting like almost like a nervous, nebbishy kind of guy. Because if if you're gonna say it's a huge difference, and like you're not gonna be able, the quote that I remember is something to the effect of like, "You're not gonna believe that this is the same guy that did what he did in Rogue One." Right now, he's already stolen Imperial stuff. He's you know owes money to everybody sure but like he doesn't come off like a different <laughs> character where you go like wow i can't believe that's the same cassian mm-hmm. you're like yeah it's him just with some experience but like they made it seem like he was going to be a different character okay. like i was going into this thinking like are we going to get like like i said like somebody nervous and mm-hmm. like panicky all the time and then mm-hmm. like he grows with the maturity of it but it seems like he's the same character which is fine it's consistent but that's not what they were saying when they were promoting the show okay so at least so far at least so far that's true i mean i don't know I mean, clearly... That um, thing's going to fall off and hit you in the head and it's behind you if you want to move that little white thing that's for the cooler. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, I keep uh, seeing it moving. I'm like, it's going to hit him. <laughs> uh, the Luth- Luthen? Is this Luthen, thing? yeah. Luthen. The guy, I like the, his character a lot. Yeah, he's. Um, he reminds me of a younger client a little bit. Yeah, I was uh, actually wondering if we're going to see the client in this. We might. I was hoping so. I mean, I definitely think we're going to get K2SO. Um, I wonder how we're they're going to do saw. that. Because yeah, the I wonder comic how comic books gonna... are would it would be kind of contradicting some comics that came out, like maybe even a one shot. But it was like they showed the beginning of that. I don't know. Oh, I know what's canon in the comics is Andor and K two S O stealing something from Chewie, right? I honestly don't remember. It's been so long since I read. I read that when it was com- when Rogue One was like out. It okay. just came out, okay. I think. But anyway, um, I may have it. Luthen is interesting because he's one thousand percent going to be the one to introduce and or to Mon Mothma. Yeah. Like, he's the connection to the Rebellion. That's why, I mean, I'm excited now. Because the, these are the seeds growing of the Rebellion. Because he didn't even care about the Imperial technology. He just wanted Andor. He didn't care about that. I can't remember what, what the name of it the was. little box thing yeah, with, yeah. like, the, yeah. Um, he I'm, just wanted just to write notes down. So I, when I think of questions, I don't forget to ask them. Um, oh, okay. Wasn't didn't didn't you think that was like his sister? Is it his sister? Who was the chick? Um. Oh, Bix. Yes. Uh, that's just a, a girl that he knows. Okay. That's that's not his sister because he kept because remember he was asking for his sister in the brothel. And his I sister's. Couldn't, I couldn't one. tell that was a, a yeah. con or something. I, I was. I thought that at first, but the more and more I knew, and then especially when B two emo, the droid. I love that droid. Mentioned Bix. Yeah, it's like one of the girls he like slept with or had had a relationship with. That's right. Okay. So I'm like, okay, not a sister, not a sister. The little sister is somebody is who he's looking for. Okay. Um, I have a very important question for you. Has there ever been a more attractive female character other than Padme than this girl? She's gorgeous. Never thought about it like that. Um, if you say so, I think she is a. I get the massage the alarm going. Bees. <laughs> She's gorgeous. Okay. I'm gonna be inside. She reminded she, she reminded me of Padme. Like she has the same she? kind of features. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to pay attention, I guess. But uh yeah, I, I was confused by that setup. I thought that, that was gonna be a sister. I don't know, it just um we we don't know who this guy is yet. Uh Luth Luthen. We don't know who he is, right? He he no, knows yeah, he not, knows B- Bix somehow. He does. He's the, she's the connection to she, she's the guy that was gonna things. purchase the thing, yeah. right? But we don't know. It seems like they have a different relationship than just that. Like, she knows him, knows him. Father, maybe? Maybe. Because she recognizes him when he goes off the ship and runs up and talks to him, and they kind of walk down the street talking they together, talk, and, and then they, they branch yeah, off. And they branch off. So, I might, you know what sucks? I might have to go back and rewatch all this again. Because <laughs> there's That's so fine. much. There's, Three episodes is a lot. Also, a lot. 40 minutes each. 40 minutes an episode. And we got 26 from Obi-Wan. Again, why are they focusing so hard on the story? It's infuriating. Know. It's it's like they're they're really not finding middle ground because when you compare the two, and like I know why they're doing this because with Obi Wan and Darth Vader, those are established characters and stories. You can rely on that lore to yeah. tell to jump right into the action. I get that, but with Andor, they do have to build a background. I get it, but like, do they have to do it so goddamn slow? Is the whole For show going to be like episodes, this? I'm like, I, I I don't think so. There's there's <sighs> no way. That they'd be able to roll out a show like this. I mean, and they this were, like, thing is playing like a movie. Up, like talking, it is playing like a movie, like it's a slow like a ass art house movie. Yep. And I mean that 
respectfully. Like it is very slow. I don't typically have a problem with slow, but, like, it is Star Wars. Like, we need some action. We need something going on. Like, after watching this, what is the plot of the show? We've gotten three episodes. What's the plot of the show? Yeah, I mean, it's not, just... Not pretending Rogue One doesn't exist. If you just looked at this in a vacuum, what is the plot of the show? Uh, it's a, a guy who's hunted by law enforcement looking for his sister and getting caught up with bad people and on the run star wars the fugitive like sure <laughs> yeah yeah maybe yeah like it's just it just says like there's nothing where i go like that's in there was nothing there was nothing i saw where i was like that's interesting now there has been stuff in the trailer that i saw where i'm like yeah. that looks like it's gonna be the shit like the empire stuff we still haven't seen much of that yet i think that this like this ragtag team of security guards is gonna fail and the empire has to step in and then yeah you know, we just yeah. inched closer towards the battle of yavin and him right. with the re- rebellion and stuff i do but, like that they gave the year that was nice. Yeah, five, five BBY. Five BBY, yeah. Five BBY. But uh, yeah, it's. Um, I like. I did also to, like a lot that they were like translating the Arabish on the screen. Like when he was oh, reading it, yeah, you yeah. got to see what it said uh-huh. without it being like captions. It like actually came up as right. part of the show. That was cool. It was cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I just feel like this is like. Like I, I to be fair, I we said I think we said this before the show started, or was it on the show where I watched the uh, the sneak peek at D twenty three? I think that was on the show. Yeah. Okay. I can't remember if it was on or off, but if if it wasn't, watching the preview from D20... Oh, yeah, we did talk about it. We talked mm-hmm. about it. Um, but, like, it just... Everything just kind of was like, eh. Like, if I wasn't a Star Wars fan and this was a Marvel show, after three episodes, I'd be tapped out. Oh, right, right. Oh, yeah, if this were Marvel, I'd be, I'd if this, if this be was, close to tapping out. Dude, too, yeah. like, because there's nothing that gripped me. Like, there's no... That is, that, that is funny how we really don't... But we care about Star Wars so much. That's true. But, like, if this was anything else... I mean, if, if you just take Star Wars out of this and this was some other sci-fi franchise just take the star wars logo off of it i'm not watching the rest of this mm-hmm. and they're like we've already greenlit it's so good we've already greenlit two more seasons yeah. with 12 more episodes after these 12 24 episodes total you're like of what of what yeah of what this is not this is not interesting on any level I mean, it, and i'm sure it will be like you said we can't judge the show as an entirety yeah. but i'm just judging off these first three episodes i am very underwhelmed i mean it's it's gonna get more star warsy when he meets mon mothma in episode four for sure um He's gonna get K two S O somehow. Saw is gonna show up. You know, there's a lot of stuff that is coming up. But yeah. like to not tease any of that when you know you're releasing the first three episodes. This, they're only twenty five percent of the way done. <sighs> only twenty five. That's a long. We got a long way to go for sure. But it just seems odd. And I think that they release all three episodes because the only interesting thing that does happen is at the end of episode three. And if you release that week by week, viewership is gonna fall. Oh off. yeah. If they were to have released episode one like that, I, I would have been pissed. Like having the third episode, and I'm not trying to say it's one of the greatest Star Wars TV episodes of all time. It's not. It doesn't even get near that. No. But there's bad episode three episodes was better. good. That and it kept me gripped when you watch the first two. I don't know. It's just more of like a satisfying ending. It felt like a movie. Yeah, it did. Or like a three act movie where it's like I don't. I don't know. I don't hate that sometimes because I get it. The story you're trying to tell. It's might be hard to. You know, it's it's not easy to sh- to tell a Star Wars story, live action. It's not. Mandalorian no. seems to have the, you know, algorithm down. Yeah, yeah. right. Because <laughs> they they get it done right more than not. I just this feel this whole thing kind of just feels hollow. Like okay. the Empire is a force in the background, but you haven't seen anything really of it yet. Let me ask you this: Would, compare it to Book of Boba Fett without the Luke stuff. Do you like it? What What are your thoughts? Three episodes of Andor versus Book of Bo- Boba Fett without the Mando Luke stuff. Well. Th- there was no Mando Luke stuff in episodes one, two, and three of Boba Fett, right? That was the one, two, part three, and four. The only time we ever got Mando at, was at the episode four. Was a doom doom. It was and it, exactly the following, and I have to find it, of course. Look at me go. So that okay, and then he was in the last two. He was in episode five when he. That was the episode he um, was the meat basically locker. kicked out. Of, yeah, the meat locker oh. kicked out of the Mandalorian Creed, <laughs> um, and then he ends up with Pelimato, gets the uh, Naboo ship. Okay. And then episode six was he goes to Luke. And then episode seven, Mando is in it with to with fight with, with, with the Rancor on, and stuff. Yeah. Back on uh, Tatooine. So, okay. So it's a little. Here's my answer Book of Boba Fett was more entertaining. And I'm sure it's probably because I like Boba Fett as a character more than I like Andor. Mm-hmm. I, I was always going, like, why does this guy get a show? It doesn't make any sense to oh, me. Oh, yeah. I didn't, I didn't get that either at but, first. That at least explored a character's backstory that filled in holes that were kind of necessary to tell. This doesn't feel necessary. 
Like, even if you didn't like Book of Fett, Book of Fett was, like, middle of the road, maybe lower at middle of the road. If it didn't have Mando, it'd be boring as all shit, mm-hmm. and I would, I would rank it probably the worst so far mm-hmm. as TV shows. But at least it was, like, a story that needed to happen. Like, how did he get his armor? How did, you know, how did, how did all that happen? This is just like, yeah, he was on a he was on a planet somewhere. This guy from the rebellion who did one important mission and died. Like it yeah. just doesn't. There's nothing I, named after. There's not like a ship named Andor. Like there is the Radis. Like there's nothing about this character that goes like you can tie him to this. And this is why this is how he's so important. He is important because he got the Death Star plans up, right, and all that. But like, it just feels like they're exploring a character's backstory, and this character doesn't need that to happen. Like I don't need. Every character have a backstory. Like, um, what's homeboy with the mustache? Antoc Merrick. Oh, Antoc Merrick. It'd be cool yeah. to see, but like, you don't need it. He's an X-wing what, pilot. What's that one your Disney Plus shows you wanted? It is, but <laughs> it's just the first example I see because I see it over your head. Sure, sure, sure. I yeah. could, you know, I could do uh, uh, Dryden Voss. I don't need a Dryden Voss show. I don't need an Admiral Akbar series. Right. He, they just Akbar, these characters. no, but Voss, I kind of want a Dryden Voss. It, it could be interesting. <laughs> it could be interesting, but like. I get p- 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 no. I get character. your point. Pick a, pick a character uh, you're not, you don't care about. Grief cargo. We we don't need a grief. Don't cargo need a grief show. cargo. You're show. right. He's Absolutely. important, yeah. and and it's just what it is. But yeah, like, yeah. that's how I feel about this. It's like cool. You might like. I would be more interested if they just did a generic rebellion and f- fighting, forming and starting to fight the empire. I show. think. I think F- forming it around him is a mistake. I think. I think. Here's here's just my thought that I kind of just thought up now. Like we know the Marvel formula. They're very character driven. Right, they tell the character story. You've been to Avengers Campus, so you know it's character driven. And by the way, the Hulk debuted today. I don't like what, don't like it. It looks bad, it, doesn't it? Just don't like it. Yeah, gotta is don't it, like it. Did, was the face working, or was it a no, flat face? It was flat, and his eyes were dark. It, Disney Park shared it, so check it uh, okay. check it out later. Um, but anyway, so <laughs> I I feel like Star Wars now, when they're like they're they're kind of hearing it, and maybe Kathleen Kennedy is hearing it from. Bob Paycheck or, or somebody else that's saying I'm like a character driven story and, and you got nachos because I like nachos too um, uh, true story guys you like nachos, you like nachos? Yes. <laughs> there it is um, speaking of Bob Chepik he's unattractive and unattractive people are desperate you should haggle with him is that from Futurama no but it's it's Bender it's, that's... it's from Adventure Time Jake the Dog oh okay yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Um, John DiMaggio was the name of the voice actor? Oh, yeah. okay, John yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that's right. Finally came back. I can't wait for Futurama to come back. I know uh, Hulu bought it. I believe it was Hulu. Somebody yes. like mm-hmm. no, somebody bought it. I'm so excited. So um, coming back for the 14th time, <laughs> <laughs> the show that will never die. It's true, it won't. Um, but the hell, okay, so they're they're. I believe that they're just trying to take a. They're trying to tell stories about Star Wars lore, like the Rebellion and the the creation of the rebellion because we've had seeds here and there right and if i were you and i'm shocked that you haven't brought this up yet like andor is telling the story about starting the rebellion right or getting involved with what's starting and kicking it off to what we know you know battle yavin and the kickoff from there in episode four five and six even in obi-wan kenobi when you watch the documentary um is it ice what's his name son um, Ice Cube's son. Yeah, yeah. I uh, can't remember his name. Um, Jackson. something Jackson. Yeah, I forget. Gosh, I'm sorry yeah, to the actor. Um, so anyway, he said in the documentary, he's like, you know, I've got such an important part. It's like beginning the, rebe- you know, the rebellion. I'm like, like okay, and I get that the rebellion starts all everywhere else, but where's Infus Nest in all of this? Yeah, like he's just gonna kick her to the side. It's gonna be a mistake if they don't bring her in. Like, right? Hundred percent. So, because this was around the time of Solo, right? Five years before the Battle of Yavin. Is that when Solo is? But I feel like they keep changing when the rebellion starts because th- they were around way before five years. Because Leia's, they're well, they're forming it. Obi Wan Kenobi. Sith. What we just saw was five years before this. Yeah, and they're talking about it at that point. Like yeah. Bail Organa's there. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I don't know. Like. There, there it doesn't really track for me. There wasn't really any rebellion in Fallen Order, except for Seer and Grease, but they were on their own. They were doing their own thing. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't rebellion necessarily. I, I mean, Rebels takes place before the show, right? Or after? Rebe- Rebels, Rebels is, is after, right? D- actually, like before, during, and after, I believe. Okay, so they're already a thing. Yes. So how is this the formation of the rebellion? It's just the building of it, I think. It's like telling... But it's already built. If they have rebels... <laughs> then it's... I, I get it, but it's telling the story. 
of how Andor gets to the rebellion, and it's we're going to see bits and pieces. Now that's it. different. Him getting there and building it are two different things. Because if if he goes to, well, it, I think and he's it's there already. It's already established. Things. Right, so you're right. Not, so but you're not building the rebellion, you're but joining it. But it's not quite what we know in like Rogue One yet. That's with like fair. Yavin space. Like that's I think totally he's. Fair. We're going to see how he oh, helps. Dude, if, do they, that. if they get a scene where they're showing the building, the construction of the Yavin base, oh, they absolutely oh, are. Give me that all day. Are you kidding? They absolutely are. But I need stuff like that to tie in. This feels like this feels like the Star Wars version of the Marvel Marvel show where it's like nothing ties into this it's all new characters which is good you need new characters I'm, I've been preaching quit going to legacy characters forever so I'm he, although he kind of technically is because he's a character sort of, based off yeah. of a show that you know, a, a movie that they're not you know whatever well, I'm totally fine with it but like you gotta tie it in somewhere to make yeah. it feel this didn't, there was not a TIE fighter there was not an Imperial officer there was not a stormtrooper the only thing that was Star Warsy to me was in one shot you could see an ATST walk in the background okay that was it. I mean, you definitely are they were they on what well, that wasn't Corellia, was it? No. Okay. They were never on Corellia. I don't know, man. It's just uh just the one with the a, brothel and then It's about what I thought we were going to get, but way more boring. <laughs> Give it I mean, I'm I'm going to I'm, I'm, I'm going to watch time. every single episode yeah. and we're going to do this wrap up show every week, but like Same. I just don't I feel so underwhelmed. So what time do these drop? 3 a.m. 3 a.m. 9 a.m. I'll have to watch it after the parks because I'm in Paris next week, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we'll see if I get back either a hurricane or a French airstrike to keep me over there. So <laughs> we'll we'll figure it out. But I'm still going you over. You and there. Kyle are both going to be like, how close are you guys going to be to each other? Um, he's going to be he's going to Poland first and then making his way over to London. So when he's in London, him and I will be the closest. Are you guys going to see each other? That, Hell no, I don't want to see him in Europe. You don't when you guys are both there? Well, like when do they when do you you guys could both go get a beer in London or something? Like that I'd would be I'd have to take cool a 2 hour shit. bullet train over there. That yeah. would be totally worth it. That I think that'd be he, so cool. He should come to Paris. That he should. For Disneyland things. Yeah. Like come yeah. on, bro. That I mean if if like Evan was over there, I would. I'd be like, dude, this is never going to happen again. We're both oh, going to be in the I same place. I get that. Place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Something might happen. Like, look, I said if, if and there is seriously a threat of uh, potential French air traffic control. Yeah, striking. So you might have to go to if, England anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, if I have to go to London via bullet train, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit Kyle up and be like, "Where you at, bro?" I'll, like, I'll at least see him come say yeah, hi. You know, for sure. I, th- I think that'd be so cool. Yeah. Take a. I mean, that'd be a perfect picture for the you know. Oh, I know. Fourth right? mother box oh. or something. Yeah. You guys, you two guys were like holding a croissant with the oh, croissant. Eiffel Tower in the background <laughs> with your little stupid hats on. Uh, <laughs> fuck you, Kyle. You're an idiot. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Do we want to do a breakdown of this? I mean, there's not really much to break no, down. No, because I, I kind of like the approach we're, we're taking with talking about Andor. We're talking about it as a whole. You're right. Not a lot happened yet. It's world building and it's character introduction and building. That's what these first three episodes were. One of my arguments is, does Star Wars need world building in the sense of like establishing what the world is? You know the world of Star Wars. And just introducing new planets isn't enough. It has enough. to set the tone somehow. And it, it set the tone even... even and it, it, This even surpasses like Zack Snyder levels of setting tones. Like this one a little bit above that what like Zack would do. You know, he would figure out a good transition point. He'd have but this is thirty minutes of slow mo. He would, but it would still be more entertaining than this. <laughs> you are you know? not wrong. Yeah. So, at least when he does <sighs> slow mo, you know, he's it's like Superman fighting the Justice League. But. So I know it's the first time you've watched this, but where does this like rank for you as far as live action shows so far? Is it like better Star than Wars? Book- yeah, is it better than Book of Boba Fett? Just comparing, just comparing. For, no, for me, it's Mando season one and two. Oh, yeah, Mando, Obi Wan, Book of Boba Fett, Andor. Right now, that's where I'm at. Yeah, we're exactly right now. The same. Right now, right now, we're right the now. same. I, I, I suspect that I'll like it more than Book of Boba Fett. Book of Boba Fett, it. it could, yeah, but well. I don't think it's gonna, it's gonna fuck with. Uh, I mean, honestly, Obi Wan could, could, it could move past Obi Wan if it, because I do like this time period for the rebellion. It's interesting there. They it are a true ragtag team. I just feel like they could have gotten to where they ended up in, in two episodes, and it wouldn't have felt rushed. It wouldn't have felt rushed. That's fair. They could have wrapped this up in two episodes. That's fair. I know Tony Gear was a really good writer, and I have no issues with the writing. It's the pacing. Mm-hmm. It's just like it was just a snail's pace. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you you were going pretty hard in the paint defending it. I the, was. I was. Chat. I would. Well, Kyle's it, opinions. As always, it's dumb as shit. But let's just the 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 calling something horrible. It's it's just. I think I was more. I'm very loyal to the things I like. Metallica, you know, 
the things I love, I yeah, should you, say. You don't even like whiskey, and you drink their whiskey. I do, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's like I'm fucking loyal. <laughs> Star Wars is one of those things. You know, my my podcasts, my my close family and friends, my wife, my dog, you know, I'm loyal to those things. And I think I sometimes, when Star Wars is, at, is attacked, I get a little over the edge. And because it's like, I don't, I, I truly don't think these this these were horrible. This was not horrible. It was boring, yes. Slow, yes. But I wouldn't say horrible because I like to judge Star Wars now, especially because I can't stand the keyboard warriors who, oh, I'm blah, 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 worst thing ever, where's my cookie, mom? Yeah. You know, bullshit with that. It's like, I can't stand that. So it's like, I refuse to be that type, type of Star Wars fan. If Andor's over and it's this continues to be boring and the pace is like it is now, then this is going to be bad. Yeah. I don't. I think there's. It's it's one thing to go like everything is terrible, but it's also fair to be like this was boring as shit. I agree. I'm not interested. I agree. And at at that time, defending it hardcore in the paint, and I still believe that. I just. I, I, I don't you, think it you're was right. Horrible. Yeah. I was in the middle. of You guys like Kyle right, was like right. this is the worst thing I've ever fucking seen in Star Wars. I don't think Kyle is, had watched episode which is not three true because you haven't seen. For, yeah, he hadn't finished yeah. three, and so like that's the most interesting episode. But you also haven't seen all of Star Wars, so you can't. Say it's the worst thing. He did Wars. start Rebels, but oh shit, no Rebels way. is not the no, no Rebels is near worst. I would have started with Clone Wars and ended with Rebels. <laughs> I know. Well, well, he did. He, he he tried Clone Wars, and trust me, I understand people who can't <sighs> get through Clone Wars. Wars. I get it. Some of it's really not good. <laughs> it's got high highs though. It does. Oh, I'm it dying. does. <laughs> it is the episode nine of animated stuff. Uh. <laughs> you need a drink? Are you good? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Um. Yeah, I was in the middle. Like I was like, hey, you know, it's. I'm not saying the show sucks. I'm saying these three episodes of the show sucked. Yeah, and, and not sucked, boring. And I was, I was bored. I'm, but I'm like, hey, cool. Let's now we get maybe this is like the boring world building, quote unquote, right, right, stuff. Right. And then we're gonna get into some really cool shit. And if that's the case, dude, I'm on board. But yeah. if if, th- if season one wraps up and I feel the way I feel now, oh yeah, about these episodes, about the whole season, I might unless something interesting happens to the Empire. I might not watch season two, and it might be the first thing I just don't watch. Uh, and and, and like season two is going to have time jumping too. So, and, and it's like every three episodes is going to be a different arc, and it's just like what? Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. It seems it just seems like a very strange show. It seems like they wanted to do a. This seems like a very Disney right now Bob Chapek thing, where it's like we have this idea for the show about building the rebellion, and they're like, okay, cool. What character can we attach to this to make this a fran- to make this IP yeah. IP driven? It's like, well, it is an IP. It's Star Wars. So, yeah, but what character is going to be right? Able- and it's right. like we have to sell. You don't have. We to. have to sell it. You don't have to because if because I feel like that's when you get fucked up expectations. Like because then you like Book of Boba Fett's a perfect example. He is the most beloved Star Wars character of all time. For some no reason. matter what, for whatever reason, yeah. no matter what they did, no matter how good the show was, and it was just average for me. But no matter how good it was. There was always going to be people who were disappointed by it, and that's right. going to happen with whatever you do. So maybe not, especially with Star Wars. Give us new shit. Give us all new characters. It doesn't have to be Andor. It'd be more interesting if it wasn't Andor, and it was like at the end of the show you see that like this person passes and Andor picks up this person's torch. Like you could have done something like that. Yeah, I don't know why. They I don't, don't know. It just out. it just feels like they're just so. I don't know why up they... their own ass with their own characters. This is like, dude, they're, just fucking let it be. They're up their ass and to the left. It's, I don't. I don't know why wild. they don't want to build their TV universe. Post episode nine, that would be the smart move. Yeah, that would be perfect. Or I would Republic. adore it if, if they just didn't do the higher public books and just did TV yeah, as higher public. Like either extreme would be interesting because yeah. nothing ties in. It, I think actually think now that I'm saying this, episode nine would be better because you don't even have to worry about Yoda. Like you still have to pay attention to Yoda in the higher public. And he's on true. sabbaticals yes. in the whole yes. first because it's like they don't know what to do with it. Right, and it's like I, I think getting away from every established character, every established time period is going to be the way that Star Wars moves forward. Because mm-hmm. um, right now, this ain't it. <laughs> this is not it. I am I am, uh, I'm not thrilled, but we'll see. And I, like, I, I don't know if I said this off air or not, or I said at the beginning, if this was, if they released this first episode and it was just this first episode, oh, yeah. people would tap out completely and they would have every right to because it is... If this was a Marvel show, dude, I wouldn't be following this. Oh, I'd, I'd be cr- incredibly disappointed if they dropped just the first episode. I was, I was, and when it ended, and I was like, it ended weird. I and I want to, I, I go on the record. I said it in the chat too. I, like, I hated the way that episode one and two ended. Just yeah, no, just nothing. Not very. Just ended weird. It's just weird, weird. It's almost like they were doing it as a movie, 
and they there's like the first three episodes, and then they just cut it up in weird places. Yeah, like was this what um, nine episodes, and then there, like the first episode was this long, and Disney said no, let's make them into three for some could stupid be. reason. It, it very well could be. It very well could be. You know what? This is going to be depressing, and I hate to even say this because I don't like comparing the two, but because they're very different. But as far as pure enjoyment goes, I had way more fun watching the first three episodes of She Hulk than I did the first three episodes of Andor. I'm getting caught up today because I heard about the what I think I heard it on you guys' show. I was trying to turn it off because I didn't want to hear it, and then I heard about the yellow mask, and I was like, "The yellow mask, fuck! I got to see that." It was just, uh, yeah, because I just that I don't think cool Daredevil to do. Yeah, I don't think Daredevil is going to get me to watch She Hulk, but <laughs> all day for me. No, I don't. I'm a whore for Daredevil. <laughs> I know, I know, and that and that's great. I'm glad, and I'm and I'm glad he's. Getting I never that. even thought to do the yellow. Yeah. Because they've done the black mask like he has in earlier, com- like, you know, some of the earlier right. storylines. Not comics necessarily, but like, you know, reading yeah. like Frank Miller stuff, I think, believe is when he had that like blindfold thing. And then they've obviously done the red. They've done the Ben Affleck red leather. Then they did like the one on the Daredevil TV show. And this is something they have never done in live action. And I cannot wait to see what it looks like. Mm-hmm. I'm very excited. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I had more f- fun. Doesn't mean it's better. Okay. Sh- doesn't mean it's better, but it was just like, it felt like a chore this morning. Like, I woke up at 5.30 to watch this shit and I just was like, <laughs> man, man, I wanted more than this, but we'll see. All right, that was forty minutes on uh, the first three episodes of Andor. That's way more than Andor. it deserved. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never get those forty minutes back, and neither will you, because you just got done listening to us. Yeah, um, so thank you. <laughs> I want to put it out there: the Thursday that I get, or like the second Thursday I get back from Paris, uh, Matt uh, is finally going to join us. Oh, hell yeah. Perfect. Um, to, so we'll be, a, we'll be several episodes into Andor and I cool. know he was super stoked for it. So I'd love to know what he thinks. Matt, comment down below. We know you're going to. Yeah. Yeah, we are. We yeah. know you're going to. So thank you. <laughs> thank you for commenting. Um, were there any, qu- is he coming in person? I don't know yet. Okay. I'll ask. He lives nearby. Okay. Ish. Let us know if you're coming in person, dude. Yeah. I, <laughs> I would prefer person by the way, just cause it's easier and I'm about to deal with Kyle like issues. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like Kyle dropping on the beginning of my last fourth mother box episode. That was so funny. <laughs> That's it's not just, his fault, though. It That's, wasn't. Skype just, like, blew up. It was so y- weird. Y'all go back and forth. G- keep keep one. Uh, well, we <laughs> tried to use Google Meet, and Google Meet wasn't letting Kyle get in for some reason. So. It's because it knew it was. Yeah, who it, it was. Knew, like, 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 we're not letting him here. in. We don't want to get short. Yeah, we don't We don't want this. Did you see Kyle's people played a role in this episode? I did. The, that was interesting. The little, the, alien. Uh, the little weird alien thing that talked funny. Mm-hmm. I don't know. The visuals were great. I had no, I had no oh, issues Oh, all the, the practicals visuals. look great. I can't wait to see more of it. Yeah. You can totally tell it's practical, too. Yes. And you can tell when they switch to CG, and you're like, ooh, it's a big difference. I, uh, right. I noticed that, too. And I did appreciate like the, the slower scenes where I kind of just sat back and looked around. Yeah. I was like, oh, look at the detail. It's great. You were like, is there anything interesting in frame? <laughs> is there? The music was weird. The music was weird. I didn't like the drum thing at the end of the first or second episode where huh. I was like, the music okay. struck me as odd. Like you know how the Mandalorian music was different, but it fit the Mandalorian. Yeah, this just didn't feel like it. It's okay. almost like it was trying to be like army marching music, but like he's not in there yet, and so it doesn't really work. But I don't know. I love the title sequence, like the Andor. Thing. Oh yeah, yeah. With like that's mode. also really slow because it goes like, hey, and you <laughs> yeah, can't skip it. There's no it, button uh, to skip it. And it just farts. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was our uh, underwhelming. Different priorities. I, I can't wait to see what people think about this because I I have a feeling that people are loving this because it's slow. Because I, I bet money that people are gonna be like, yeah, the pace was slow, but you know the episode nine was such a frantic pace. And it's good, refreshing to have a slow. It's like you're. Oh, remind me to tell you off the air about some idiot I heard yesterday on YouTube. Oh boy! Holy shit! It was the most cucked out thing I've ever heard in my oh, life. Oh boy! Um, I don't want to say it here because I actually know I the will guy. Eat your ass. <laughs> I actually know him, and I don't, so I don't want to oh, okay. say anything. Yikes! But Jesus, tap dancing Christ was it the worst thing ever? <laughs> worst take I've ever heard on anything ever. Uh, that's funny. Um, but yeah, that's it. I don't know what else to say. Really, Brad? <laughs> it's an expose. <laughs> really, Brad? Yeah, I forgot to put that. That's up. from Whiskey Tribe. Hell yeah! Um, <laughs> uh, I right, thank you guys for listening. We'll see you on the next show, Tom. Have fun and, and be safe in Paris. Thank you. And uh, I'll you see you guys, guys leave Friday, Friday, right? Friday, yeah. Nice, we'll fly man. Out and we'll travel cool. through time. So well, you and Courtney be safe out there. Uh, put on a beret. Get Grow a little stupid mustache and go, <laughs> don't wear a deodorant. Oh, You'll oh, fit oh, right man. in. I don't, know, I don't know about that. I hate the French. Um, thank okay. you for listening to this episode. <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next episode. I'm kidding. On the next, I'm not. Uh, on the next episode, we'll see you. Until then, stay safe. May the force be with you.
always in good journey. Rise, Jedi Knight, Master Yoda. Are are you gonna? Are there gonna be other Jedi talk episodes when I'm away in France, or is this the last one? No, there is another.